Take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here between the New England Patriots and the New York Jets. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. And, Charles, you think about what this defense has had to prepare for. They're in for a battle. I mean, they're facing a team that is working on a six-game winning streak. And that can be intimidating when you think about it in those terms. But I think what they need to do is make some sort of a statement early in this game, whether it's a turnover, a takeaway, a key sack on third down, a three and out. Something lets the other guys know that you mean business figuratively throw the first punch and make it a good one the last run got six now second and four they run again with harris and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 that'll be a new england first down a gain of 12 Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They hand this off to Harris. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. switch it up here and look to throw Hunter Henry brings it in and they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line well the first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight ends name but I, I can assure you this Charles it, it won't be the last no it won't because when he gets going now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on well, this defense for the Jets, they were terrific last week in the win over Denver. And one of the key numbers that I look at after every game, total yards allowed. They held them under 200 yards of total offense, just couldn't sustain much of anything against them. Great job showing them different looks and then attacking. From the 44, Jones, it's caught, Smith. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, whatever script they put together for this offensive drive, Charles, seems to be working. I'm curious to see if this defense will make any adjustments here. 
Things certainly going according to plan, aren't they? I mean, the way they're advancing the football, it's like they're on the practice field having one of their better days. But instead, it's game day, and they're moving the ball downfield with purpose. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Back to throw. Jones got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That looks a lot like what we saw them execute, doesn't it? It really does. And in practice, it wasn't about a lot of big shots on that opening drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now on their heels a little. That, that they are. And you know what else is happening now? They're gaining information. They're gaining knowledge about how the defense is planning on playing them. So not only are they being successful on this drive, they're filing things away for future drives in this game. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Jones keeps it himself. He will push his way down to about the 14. He'll get three there on the sneak, but it still leaves him with a third down. Yeah, partner, they went a little conservative, didn't they? And they ended up marking it short. And now I wonder, will they even do it again on third down? And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Kendrick Bourne. His first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Patriots will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he is not going to make it. They stop him up short. And this will remain a 6-0 ball game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Willis now off of play action. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. The Jets at 3-4 and four on the year coming into play. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victory, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Willis's throw taken in by Samuel. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Curtis Samuel. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jets have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Boy, just zero hesitation from the rookie passer there, partner. He is coming out firing in this opening quarter. And all the talk leading into this game was that pass rush talking about challenging this guy, getting into his grill, getting into his space. And how about him? Might be his first year in the NFL, but I don't see any fear in him at all. How about that big-time throw right out of the gate? Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And he stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. Jones. 
on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Pats at the line ready to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. New England has found its lead running back, and it's Damian Harris. The Alabama man tied for second in the league with 15 rushing touchdowns. It was a game short of 1,000 yards. First down, and they go back to Harris. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. A pair of first downs gives them a first and 10 up at the 44. On the draw, it's Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big time play. On second down, they'll run with White, and he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Going with their tight end on forward. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. They'll try the right side with Harris. Down inside the 40. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. They go with White on the counter. And he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets' 33. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. 
So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Here's a sneak with Jones. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Give him two on the play there. And it gives the Pats a first down. Harris running straight ahead. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 63 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Jones to throw on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Jones throwing on fourth down and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over the Patriots come up empty on fourth down and the Jets are going to get the football back so that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down they're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries but they must feel good about what they're doing right they continue to go for it on fourth down Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. How about a 39-yard pickup? They'll take it. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Henry up the middle. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Henry, 41 yards, and the Jets will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Zerline good with a PAT, and the lead is up to 15 now. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. 
first play of the drive there is incomplete. Normally being a big bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. On third down, Jones. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. They'll try and throw for it here. That's to his running back, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Jones now throwing on first down. Another catch by White. Back-to-back -back plays. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot before break, Jones. He's going to look deep down the field. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Keon Crossan, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the home team, the Jets, leading this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. Not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time. And Going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. First and 10, Willis. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Jamison Williams, 46 yards. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now? We could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out. And they get Jones for the third time in this ballgame. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, 
But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Zerline connects on the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Throwing Jones. Open man is born. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On second down, a run with Strong. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's Strong bringing it in on the out route. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Throwing again on second down. Jones, he completes it to Henry. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he will have a Patriots first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Jones. Finding strong underneath. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Back to throw again. Complete. Smith has it. 
And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. To throw again on second down. Jones, the quick slant caught. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. They'll run with Strong. That he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Pierre Strong with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Patriots get a bit closer. They'll try and throw for it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Willis now off play action. This pass on target, Bayless Jones with it. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. On second down, here's Henry. 91 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. This is caught. Touchdown, Jets. Jamison Williams. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Jets are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of his NFL thing pretty quickly. At three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? They well, we keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, He's really good. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And it's a touchdown for the Jets. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Zerline now for the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. And 
And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This take it in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Pats at the line ready to go. This has been frustrating for them to this point. They have not looked the same as they did coming in, riding that impressive six-game win streak. That will throw here to his running back. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Back to throw. Jones gets it to Strong. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's complete yet again to Thornton. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's a gain of 25 yards. On first and 10, it's strong. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. To throw on second and six, Jones. This one swung outside to Strong. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Looking to throw. Jones looking Strong's way again, and he's got it. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and the Jets are going to get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll run it again with Henry. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Willis now off the play fake. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one.
He's absolutely taking charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football. He's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. Zerline good with a PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Straight ahead is strong. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Uh, give up the middle to Strong. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. On first down, right back to Strong. 45 yards on the ground for him so far. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On third down, here's Strong. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Here's Strong one more time. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Uh, give to Strong running right. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And the ball is knocked out. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. On second and nine. 
Jones. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. shot they'll look to throw looking in zone but it's incomplete that's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late not in a lopsided game like this they are not letting up TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, let's be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So for the Jets, they level their mark at 4-4 four and four on the year. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Buffalo Bills next week. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, the loss will drop them to 6-2 and two now on the year. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
ain't never gonna get no ice. And all we want is chips, ring fingers looking ice. My day ones had to dance up again. So you know it's only right, that's how we end. Came all the way from losing to win. Yeah, I did it. But it ain't just me, it's the whole team. Share it with the whole team.